Ever wondered why most personal finance advice doesn't seem to make you any richer? You're not alone. You see the world of personal finance is filled with cliches. Save for a rainy day, live below your means, avoid debt like the plague. While these tips are not inherently bad, they are as generic as they come. They're like those one-size-fits-all shirts that either fit too tight or too loose, but never just right. Personal finance advice is typically broad and generalized. It aims to cover a wide demographic, from the single college student living on ramen noodles to the married couple juggling two jobs and kids. But here's the thing, we're not all cut from the same financial cloth. Generic advice often overlooks the unique circumstances that each individual faces. For some, saving might be easy, while for others, it's a Herculean task. Some may be able to invest in stocks, while others are barely making ends meet. This one-size-fits-all approach also fails to consider cultural nuances. Not everyone has the privilege of a stable paycheck or the ability to save for retirement. And let's not even get started on the systemic inequalities and the ever-changing economic realities that this type of advice often brushes under the carpet. Moreover, there's an overemphasis on individual responsibility. The narrative is usually, if you're not rich, you're not trying hard enough which not only oversimplifies the complexity of financial management, but also neglects factors beyond an individual's control. And oh, the obsession with austerity. The advice usually revolves around cutting expenses, skipping that morning latte, or living like a pauper to save pennies. But what about growing your income? What about investing in yourself, your skills, and your future? Generic advice also tends to focus on avoiding risk. While playing it safe might keep you from losing money, it also keeps you from making money. High-risk, high-reward investments are often painted as the villain but they can be a pathway to substantial wealth if approached correctly. So generic advice might not be the golden ticket to financial freedom after all. It might help keep you afloat, but it won't necessarily make you wealthier. As with everything else in life, personal finance is not a one-size-fits-all game. It's time we recognize that. There's a dark side to some of the most common personal finance tips you've heard. So. Let's delve into these murky waters and shed some light on the harmful side of financial tips. Ever heard the saying, live within your means? It's a classic. But it's a bit like saying just breathe underwater. It's easier said than done, especially when your means are barely enough to cover your basic needs. This advice often leads to a cycle of deprivation, where you're constantly cutting back but never really getting ahead, you're stuck in survival mode, and that's no way to build wealth. Then there's the myth of the magic budget the one that's going to solve all your financial woes. The issue here isn't budgeting itself, but the rigid, one-size-fits-all approach. Not everyone's financial situation fits neatly into a spreadsheet. And let's be honest, if budgeting were a diet, it would be celery sticks for every meal. It's sustainable for about a week, and then you're rating the cookie jar, or in this case, your savings account. And speaking of diets, let's talk about the get-rich-quick schemes. They're the financial equivalent of those shady weight loss pills that promise you'll drop 20 pounds in a week. High-risk investments and quick fixes might seem enticing, but they often lead to financial losses and can exacerbate existing struggles. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Lastly, let's not forget the advice that tells you to cut out your morning latte to save money. But think about it. Is it really the latte that's draining your wallet? Or is it the lack of a solid financial plan and income growth strategy? This advice oversimplifies the complexities of personal finance and can distract us from addressing the bigger issues at play. It's clear that not all advice is good advice, particularly when it comes to your finances. So the next time you come across a financial tip, remember to take it with a grain of salt, or better yet, a whole salt shaker. Because your financial well-being deserves more than just cookie-cutter solutions and catchy sound bites. If the usual tips and tricks aren't working, maybe it's time to rethink the approach. We've all heard the same old mantras, save, budget, cut back. It's like a broken record, really. But here's a thought. What if we flipped the script? What if instead of focusing on austerity, we shifted our attention to building wealth? Rather than just looking at how we can reduce our expenses, let's explore how we can increase our income. Think of it as investing in yourself. You are the most valuable asset you own. So why not put your money where your future is? This could mean furthering your education, building your skills, or even starting a side hustle. There are countless ways to grow your income, and they all start with a mindset shift. It's about looking at the bigger picture and realizing that wealth isn't just about what you save, but also what you earn and how you grow it. But a shift in focus isn't enough on its own. 
We also need to equip ourselves with financial literacy and critical thinking skills. In this age of information overload, it's imperative that we learn how to sift through the noise and make informed decisions that align with our unique circumstances and goals. This isn't about blindly following advice, it's about understanding the why behind the what, so that you can adapt and apply the principles that make sense for you. And let's not forget the power of community and support systems. Personal finance doesn't have to be a lonely journey. By sharing our experiences, learning from each other and banding together to advocate for systemic changes, we can create a more equitable financial landscape. Remember, there's strength in numbers, and together, we can challenge the status quo and redefine what financial well-being looks like. So, if the traditional approach to personal finance isn't cutting it for you, don't be afraid to shake things up. Start by shifting your focus, arming yourself with knowledge, and leveraging the power of community. Changing our perspective might just be the key to financial well-being. So, if most advice is keeping us poor, what's the alternative? Let's delve into the value of personalized financial advice. In a world full of generic, one-size-fits-all advice, personalized financial counsel is like a breath of fresh air. It acknowledges that every individual has unique financial circumstances, goals, and values. It understands that what works for Jane might not work for John, and vice versa. Let's consider this. Two people, same age, same income, but one is single and the other has a family of four. Can we really expect the same financial strategy to work for both? Of course not. Their financial needs and goals are as different as night and day. This is where personalized advice shines. It caters to the individual, not the crowd. Now you might be asking, where do I find this tailored advice? The answer is simpler than you might think. Look for a financial advisor who is willing to listen, understand your situation, and guide you based on your unique circumstances. This could be a certified professional or even a wise friend or family member who has a good grasp of financial matters. But remember, personalized does not mean unverified. Always cross-check advice and base your decisions on reliable financial knowledge. Personalized advice is not about following someone else's path blindly, it's about carving your own path with the help of informed guidance. Personalized advice also means understanding your own values. Are you a risk taker ready to dive into the world of high stakes investments or a cautious saver more comfortable with a slow and steady approach knowing your own financial personality can help you make decisions that not only benefit your wallet but also align with your peace of mind in conclusion personalized advice is not a magic bullet it won't make you a millionaire overnight but it's a tool a very powerful tool that can help you navigate the complex world of personal finance it appreciates the fact that you are unique, with unique financial needs and goals. Personalized advice could be the difference between financial struggle and financial success. So why not give it a try? After all, your financial journey is as unique as you are. It's time to take control of our financial future. We've journeyed together through the pitfalls of generic personal finance advice, the harmful side of financial tips, the need for rethinking the traditional approach, and the immense value in personalized financial advice. Let's not forget, financial advice is not a one-size-fits-all situation. Your circumstances, your goals, your dreams, they're unique to you. We've discovered that advice promoting rigid budgeting and deprivation can lead to an unhealthy relationship with money. We've also seen how an overemphasis on cutting expenses without addressing income growth can trap individuals in poverty cycles. High-risk investments or quick fixes, more often than not, they lead to financial losses and exacerbate existing struggles. The traditional approach to personal finance with its focus on austerity needs a makeover. We need to shift the focus from saving pennies to building wealth. This involves promoting strategies for increasing income, investing in skills, and exploring alternative pathways to financial security. It's about financial literacy and critical thinking. It's about equipping you with the knowledge and skills to evaluate advice and make informed decisions based on your specific needs and circumstances. Community and support systems are also key. We can learn from each other, share experiences and advocate for systemic changes that promote financial well-being for all. Remember, not all personal finance advice is detrimental. There are valuable principles and insights that can benefit you. However, being a critical consumer of information, understanding the limitations of generic advice, and seeking approaches that are tailored to your individual circumstances and values is vital. Let this be a catalyst for healthy skepticism and meaningful conversations about personal finance. By encouraging critical thinking, 
fostering community support, and advocating for a more equitable financial system, we can work towards creating a future where financial well-being is accessible to everyone, not just a select few. Are you ready to rethink your approach to personal finance? I challenge you to share one piece of financial advice you've received that you now question. Let's start a conversation. Before we wrap up, a quick reminder. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on personal finance. We delve into a variety of topics from debunking common financial myths to providing practical and tailored advice that can help you navigate your unique financial journey. By subscribing, you're not just joining a channel, you're joining a community of individuals committed to financial literacy and empowerment. So, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. We have a lot more exciting and useful content lined up for you. Thank you for being a part of this conversation. Thank you for watching and remember, your financial future is in your hands.